All barricades erected. Area locked down. What's going on, guys? It's Scratch One More, and you see these three guys right here, Dome Clan. Well, anyway, pre-game lobby. These guys started informing everyone to prepare to get raped and the usual BS. So I thought it was only fitting to put this up. <laughs> Ground war domination on the map outpost, and I'm utilizing the tack insert to hold down the intersection between B and C flag. But anyways, today I wanted to talk about the recent news regarding Coke and Pepsi changing their recipe to remove carcinogen to avoid having to put a cancer warning label on products. Yep, you heard correctly, cancer from Pepsi, which just happens to be my favorite beverage of choice. Thanks for the cancer, assholes. But yeah, pretty fucking serious claim made by an independent lab, but as I read into it, the details became a little bit clearer. But anyways, here's the full breakdown. Coca-Cola Company and Pepsi are changing the way they make the caramel coloring used in their sodas as a result of a California law that mandates drinks containing a certain level of carcinogens that come with a cancer warning label now. Due to many experts feeling that colorings made with the ammonia or ammonia sulfite process contain carcinogens, and they don't belong in the food supply. Companies said the changes will be expanded nationally to streamline their manufacturing processes and that they've already been made for drinks sold in California. Currently, Coca-Cola and Pepsi account for almost 90% of the soda market, so it's a pretty big deal, pretty big news. And it goes on, the American Beverage Association, which represents the broader industry, said its members companies will continue to use the caramel coloring in certain products but that adjustments were made to meet California's new standard adjustments eh? yeah some wonder if a change was needed to comply with the law or if the change was made due to an actual possibility of a health risk so obviously there's concerns with the public and they had questions and the American Beverage Association's response to those concerns and that quote, consumers will notice no difference in our products and you have no reason at all for any health concerns. A representative for Coca-Cola said the company directed its caramel suppliers to modify their manufacturing processes to reduce the levels of the chemical four, which can be formed during the cooking process and as a result may be found in trace amounts in many foods. So, while they believe that there is no public health risk that justifies any such change, they ask the caramel suppliers to take this step so that their products will not be subject to the requirement of a scientifically unfounded warning. But this all started back in February when a consumer advocacy group, the Center for Science and the Public Interest, filed a petition with the Food and Drug Administration to ban the use of ammonia sulfite caramel coloring and a spokesman for the Food and Drug Administration said the petition is being reviewed. But he noted that a consumer would have to drink more than a thousand cans of soda a day. I repeat, a thousand cans of soda a day to reach the doses administered that would have shown links to cancer in rodents. The American Beverage Association also noted that California added the coloring to its list of carcinogens with no study showing that it causes cancer in humans. So, it noted that the listing was based on a single study in lab and mice rats only. Hasn't been confirmed for humans. Kinda makes you wonder if it was bad enough to warrant putting a cancer warning label on it prior to the change of the recipe, how bad was it really? I mean, not sure if we'll ever know now, but the change has been made and Pepsi and Coke did what they had to do to keep the warning label off their products. Will this deter the masses from drinking their favorite cola? Probably not. I know I won't. <laughs> Thug life I guess. Live by the pip, die by the pip. Anyways, it sounds kind of sketchy to me. This is Scratch or More. I'm sipping on an ice cold Pepsi, risking it like a boss. Hopefully this isn't my last commentary. Have a great weekend y'all. I'm out. Peace. Oh, and one last thing, Pepsi or Coke, which one reigns supreme? Comment below.